cuatro y le va dando una puntuación. Hi guys, sorry, Zoom kicked me out. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Um, let me let me try this again, okay? Everybody can hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, sorry about yes, that. Teacher. All right, let's try this again. Okay, tell me if you can see the whiteboard. So what is all white? Yeah, can you see the whiteboard? Yes, I can see. I can see it. Of course. Okay, okay, good, good, good. All right, so we're gonna start. Um, all right, let me, let me write here the title. The title, of course, is phrasal verbs, right? Um, so phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Okay. Um, something else, something that you should know is that some people refer to them as two part verbs. And the reason why they refer to them as two part verbs is obvious, right? Because the verb consists of two parts, right? We talked about this yesterday. We talked that um, the verb consists of two parts. The first part of is obviously the, um, the, the, the verb. And the second part is the, is the, um, the preposition. But in a phrasal verb, do you guys remember what we call the second part of the phrasal verb? First part is a, a verb, and the second right. part is a particle. Exactly, it's called a particle, right? So always remember that that when we're talking about phrasal verbs, we're talking about um, a verb that consists of two parts, and the part, the two parts are the verb plus the particle. Okay, so verb plus particle. Okay, uh, sorry, partic uh, particle, sorry about that, particle, all right, and and basically the particle is a preposition, right, so in, so I told you yesterday that um, a verb um, can have many different particles, for example, to give, to give an example, we, we said yesterday that um, if we were going to give you some examples of a verb that changes a lot with different particles is the verb get, for example, right? We talked about that yesterday. Um, we have get, okay, for example, if we have get up is different from get on or the opposite of get up, which is get down get down, right, or get out, right, or get in, or get out, oh, sorry, get off, so, and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because I can continue with this, right, but the, the, you guys get the idea, right, that basically the, it's going to change, the meaning of this is going to change, depending on, um, you know, what what uh, the the particle is, right? So the, the particle here changes the meaning. The word get by itself just means obtain, right? But if we use get plus a particle, it changes the meaning completely, right? 
Okay, so remember that we, we talked about that yesterday? Could you repeat that question? Uh, sh sure, my question was, do you remember that we talked about this yesterday? That depending on the particle, the meaning of the verb changes. You remember that? Yes. Yes. I remember it. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. So basically, so that this is like a review of what we saw yesterday. Okay. Um, and now we'll, we talked about this um, verbally yesterday, but I want you to now see it because some of you may be more visual learners and it's easier for you to visualize this. Okay. Now, um, part of, uh, verb particles um, basically, um, like I said, consist of two parts, and the part that we that we are going to agree with is the verb, not this. For example, if I say to you, um, let me let me figure out a sentence, change the color. If I say to you, um, she get up at 5 a.m. every morning, okay? Let's say this, okay? Um, so over here, um, we have a, uh, a sentence which is in the base, uh, sorry, in the simple present, because we're talking about every morning, so that's a frequency adverb, or a frequency um, adverbial. And so this indicates that it's something that's constant. And we are going to meet, that means that we're gonna be using the simple present. Now, when we are going to do the simple present, where, where are we going to put the S? Are we gonna put it in the get, or are we gonna put it in the up? Which one? And get. And the get. And the exactly. main verb. Right. We're going to put it on the main verb. So we're going to say she gets up. Okay. She gets up at 5 a.m. every morning. Instead of saying, do not say she gets, do not say she gets ups. Okay. It's not she gets ups. Right? So don't don't say that. She she gets ups, no. Or she get ups, no. Right? So the the part the particle never is uh, has an agreement. Okay? So just be careful okay. about that. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, I understand. Yes, sure. I do. It's clear. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Now um the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that um, this is like very common to see. Now, this is when we have like simple present, for example, but when we have like a, a request, right, or an order or an instruction, we can say, for example, um, we can say, We can say, sit down in that chair. Okay, sit down in that chair. Okay, sit down is also a phrasal verb. Okay, actually I'm just going to, I'll make it easier for you. Change the student thought. Sit down in that chair. In that chair. Okay. And we can say, um, but this one is an imperative form, right? That's correct, yes, it is an imperative form, exactly. Um, I'll give you another example, um, and that is also in the imperative form, and that's what I'm, I'm uh, this is on purpose, this is actually what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you how to do the imperative form, okay? Um, for example, you can say, um,
Okay, pick up some milk on your way home. Okay, maybe this is something that a lot of men would hear, right? Would they, uh, a lot of men would probably hear, um, you know, their wives tell them, you know, pick up, um, pick up some milk on your way home, right? Um, okay, now, um, it's pick up uh, some milk on your way home. So right here, this is an order, and we put we put the the um, the the verb the verb and the particle together, right? And how do you answer that? How would you say pick up some milk on your way home? How would you answer that? Uh, but in my, I don't understand exactly the idea when you say on your way home. Okay, on your way home means, um, like, imagine that, uh, okay, I'll give you the scenario. Imagine the um, the wife is talking to the husband, um, and the, the wife is at home, and the husband is at work, right? So, um, she says, okay, honey, please um, uh, do me a favor. I, I, um. I, I need some milk. Uh, pick up some milk on your way home. So, it means when you're coming from the from the office, pick up some milk. Okay. Oh, I that got it. Sense? I got it. Yeah. Okay. Any questions about this? No. Have to have some milk on your way home. Uh, if I say if I if I the the housewife and and I say yes, I. I pick up <laughs> some milk or at, uh, uh, at the supermarket, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. And if you're answering short, how would you answer this the short way? So the uh, wife says, pick will, up some milk on I your way home. What would the husband say? I will do it. I will pick I it up. Will. Right, exactly. So the husband is actually going to be using uh, the aux the auxiliary will, okay? Because um, it's something that he's going to be doing in the future, so he's going to actually use the auxiliary will. Will. So he would say something like this. He would say, "Okay, I will." Uh, well, okay. Okay, okay, I will. Does that sound okay? Does everybody understand what, how to answer this and why? Yes. Yes, I got it. Okay, so when you are making a request of somebody, you're gonna be using the short answer will. Okay, so yes, okay, I will, yes, I will, or no, I won't, right? But normally you wouldn't say no, I won't. Normally you agree with a request and say, okay, I will, or sure, uh, I will. Okay. Um, all right, any questions about that? I'll be sure any questions. So, so far, so good. Everybody understands this? Any questions? Yes, but um, I have a question. But also, you can you can say in another way where the, the, my classmate says, I don't remember who, but she says, uh, I pick it up. Yes, I pick it up. It's possible? Uh, yeah, you would say, yes, I will pick it up. Okay. I will pick so, it yeah, up. So here there's another, yeah, okay, so let me, let me go back here. Okay, so yeah, okay, I will, or yes, or sure, uh, you can say, sure, I'll... Pick some up. 
Sure, I'll pick some up. I'll pick some up. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Yes. Yeah. Any questions? No. I got it. Okay. No question, wonderful. Question. Yeah. No question. Okay, I'm very interested in finding out um, your um, your opinions, right? Because I'm I'm hearing many people answering, or better said, I'm hearing some people that are answering, but not everybody. And so I just want to make sure that you that everybody understands, because remember, um, you. Um, you are a class, you're a big class, right? In fact, I, I can see that there are, you know, 11 people from this class that are connected, but I only hear about two or three people that are answering. So I'm wondering, what about the rest of you? Um, do you understand? Uh, or do you have any problems? You can let me know. Or if you have any questions, go ahead. If you don't just say yes, I understand just because everybody says yes, right? Make sure that you, um, if you have a doubt, you can ask me, no problem. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, wonderful. All right, now, um, this brings me to my next point. My next point is that if you notice here, um, I'm going to highlight, okay. So if you notice here, it says, sure, I'll pick some up. So the verb here is pick, we have the word pick, and then up, right? But yes. if you noticed, if you noticed, um, we have a word in the middle and the word is some exactly the verb the the word is some so um the what this brings me to my next my next point is that how do you form the verbs when we have the phrasal verbs how do you form them and the answer to this is the following way basically um now this is not applicable for all phrasal verbs let me explain this to you before anything that this is this is not like 100 percent of the, the phrasal verbs okay so don't take this as a a rule the that's the only possibility right now don't 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 um don't take it like that because it's not like that now um what it is is basically i would say maybe i don't know 75 70 75 of the of the phrasal verbs follow this rule okay and i'm letting you know ahead of time because i don't want you to get lost later and say oh but you know um teacher uh teacher jessica Reno, she she said this you know and and i want you to understand this but like most of the phrasal verbs are going to follow this and basically what happens is this okay um let's say let's use the verb take off okay so let's so we i'm going to use this as an example okay um the verb okay let me just write this down okay so we have take and then off so, who can tell me what does it mean to take off? Take off. Mm. In Spanish, is despegar, right? Yes, that you're right. That is one of the top the the meanings. You're right. Okay, another meaning of take off. Remove. 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 Yes. Very good. Exactly. Um, that that's exactly right. We can another way that we can do it is saying remove. Right. Right. Okay. So remove or 
like especially when we're talking about remove something from your body right so you can uh, remove things like um, clothes shoes um, accessories etc etc okay now so let's say that I use the verb oh, let's say that I let I say the sentence oops let me change that back okay so over here I'm going to write a new sentence I'm going to change it to black and then I'm going to say um, this okay but I said I take off my shoes when I get home okay I take off my shoes when I get home all right let's say this is a sentence okay now can you identify where is my phrasal verb yes take off right okay so oops sorry about that all right let me highlight this okay so we have take and off so there's the phrase and sorry there there's the verb and here is the particle okay all right now what is the object who can tell me what is the object shoes right okay good we have the shoes all right let me so with this and it's not just shoes it's just it's my shoes right my shoes mm -hmm. okay um okay so you know, here my shoes is the object okay and then okay so so we have the the verb just so that you can see this a little bit better um Okay, so I'm going to put the V over here to indicate that's the verb. Okay, it's the verb. This is the particle. Okay. And over here we have the object. Okay. All right. So this is one way that it's possible to, um, oops, oh my, sorry about that. Oh, what happened? That was weird. Okay, let me, I'm going to have to write it down again. For some reason I erased it. Okay, so. I take off my shoes when I get home. When I get home. Okay. My shoes, sorry, my shoes. Okay, there you go. I take off my shoes when I get home. All right, so there you go, there's a sentence. Now, there's, um, this is one possibility. Um, another possibility for the same sentence that is grammatically correct to use is um, if we are going to, um, so we can say it like this, we can say, So, I take my shoes off when 
I get home. All right, so that's another way that is acceptable to say, okay? The same idea, it's also acceptable to say that way. Now, if you notice over here, we have, we have take, and then we have off this particle here. But what do you notice about the structure here? The idea is the same, but Absolutely. the position of the particle is after, uh, after the noun phrase, my shoes. Okay, so yes, it's after, <laughs> right, okay, mm -hmm. very good, so if you notice in this one, uh, we can, we put something in between, in between the verb and the particle, right, we already know, we, we talked about this before, that this is the verb, right, okay, and we said that this was the particle. Okay. All right. And if you notice, where is the object? Between the verb and the particle. Exactly. It's between the verb and the particle. Okay, so there's another possibility, and the possibility is to separate, um, is to separate the verb and the particle by putting the object in the middle. So that's another possibility. All right, does that make sense for everybody, or? Are you a little confused about this? Teacher, maybe more example for the separate separate the verb mass part particle. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yes. Sure, no problem. Okay, um, we can say, for example, we um, we will pick up the um, we will pick up the package tomorrow. Okay, we will pick up the map package tomorrow. Okay. So here the verb is pick up, okay? And so let me, let me highlight this. So we have pick up. Okay, so pick up. All right, um, and here we have the pack, the object. What is the object? Package. Right, the package, right? And the package, if you notice, is at the end. Um, right after the, the particle. But it's also possible for me to say we will pick the package up tomorrow okay so it's not incorrect to say as well this way we will pick up the package tomorrow okay and in this case 
um, you will notice that the the verb is pick and here we have up and if you notice we are we're separating them that's why we're actually we call this type of uh, phrasal verb separable actually and precisely it's because we they have been separated okay and if you notice they have been separated by the object and the object here is the package all right does that make sense Okay, uh, Mauricio, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, do you give me an example we, when you can separate the words? Uh, you want an example when you can't separate can't? the phrasal verbs? Yes, teacher. Yes, sorry. <laughs> teacher, teacher. Your microphone. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I can do that. Now, just keep in mind, though, that this is extra information. This is actually don't not something that you will see in the platform um, because we're not learning that yet. But um, but if you want to know it, sure, I can I can do that. Um, for example, um, we can say she takes after her mother. Okay. All right. Question. What does it mean? Take after anybody know what that phrasal verb means to take after después de um okay but but the verb the phrasal verb take after what does that mean take after No ideas? I don't know. No? Oh, okay. All right. The verb take after, it means to resemble somebody of a family member. Okay? So, take after means that you look, you look similar either in appearance or in personality as somebody that is older than you. So you can take after your mother, your father, an, an aunt, an uncle, your grandmother. So it means to uh, resemble or be similar in appearance or in personality to somebody in your family that is older. Does that make sense? Class, does that make sense, or did I just confuse you? No, teacher, I don't understand. Yet. I understand. So it means to be similar to an older member of the family. Okay. Older. An older member of the family. Ah. So, so it means like it's like when you say in Spanish, se parece. Right? Like when you say, ella se parece a su madre. Right? So it means, that it either means physically, physically that the person looks similar to that person, or in personality. Right? Like um, they are, so like they, they have a very similar personality. Does that make sense? Yes, you sure. I got it. Yes. Yes, I got it. All right, good. All right, so this is um, take, um, so she takes after her mother, literally in Spanish means, ella se parece a su madre, 
right? Okay. All right. Um, now, in this ver in this one over here, you will notice we have the phrase. The phrasal verb is um, take the verb, and after is the particle. And what is the object? Her mother. Her mother, oh. exactly. And her mother, you will notice that is after the particle. Now, this is take after is a verb that is impossible to separate. Okay, so while this this um, sorry, while this is correct. Oh, sorry. So this is correct, okay, but it's not possible for you to say she takes her mother after. That's impossible, okay? It's not possible to say she takes her mother after because that would mean that we are separating the the verb take and after and that's impossible but this verb it's impossible to separate it okay does that make sense for everybody yes but i don't know why because her mother is a a noun like a the package or the package package it's like difficult for me the pronunciation or my shoes I don't understand. You change the idea when you say she takes her mother after? No, you do not change the idea. It's simply that you, um, it's simply that you, it doesn't exist. You can't do it because the phrase, it, it, it's not that it changes the, the meaning, simply that the phrasal verb take after does not allow, like the rule, the grammar rule is that it cannot be separated. Okay? Oh, okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so we, so like I said, okay, like I said, like they say in Spanish, ojo con esto. We are not. Uh, we are not going to be concentrating so much on this because this is not something that is um, referred to in the in the platform. Okay, but yes, it is important that you do understand that it exists, just so that in the future um, you will understand that there why some phrasal verbs cannot do this form. Okay, so basically, um, I have. Um, I, I just want to I just want to separate the two ideas, um, or I, I want to make sure that everybody understands that this is something like separate, right? This is just for extra information, something that you really won't need um, in the future. But I better say you will need in the future, but not for the platform. Okay? Uh, Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yes, I understand. Yes, teacher. Okay, so the verbs that you're going to see in the platform are going to be these kind of verbs, okay? So don't, like, forget about this. Don't, don't come, if this doesn't make sense for you, if you got, you're getting confused because of this, just forget it, okay? Just like they say in Spanish, hagan caso miso, okay? Because this is not something we're going to concentrate on. Now, continuing with this, now, like I said, there are, there are two ways that we can do it. We can either put the verb and the particle together, or we can separate the verb and the particle and put the object in the middle. However, there is only one possibility if instead of the my shoes or the package, we change it to an, uh, a, a pronoun, an object pronoun. Instead of just the object, if we have an object pronoun, it changes. In the case of shoes, the shoes is plural, right? So how do we change um, the, what's the, the pronoun for shoes? Oh, them? 
them exactly it would be them right so in this case we are going to have to write it like this and this is the only possibility okay um so we can say we're gonna say i oh, let me change the color i take them off when I get home. Okay, I take them off when I get home. All right, this is the only possibility. Okay, this is the only possibility for this one. Okay, so um, in this case, if you notice, take is the verb off is the particle and in this case the object pronoun not the ob not just the object the object pronoun will be in the middle okay so take them off that is the only possibility okay it's the only possibility so so this is the object Pronoun, pronoun. The object pronoun, the only, um, the only um, position that you can put it is in the middle. If we have an object pronoun, and object pronouns are me, uh, you, it, him, her, uh, us and them. them okay so if you're going to use one of those we're going to have to put it in this position it has to be in the middle that's the rule it has to has to be in the middle we cannot say i take off them when i get home does that make sense yes is that clear for everybody yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher, yes, teacher. Okay, good. And in the case of the second sentence, okay, so now that you know what the, now that you know the, um, let's say the, 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 the rule, how would we say it? We will, and co complete it? We will. Uh... It, we right. will we're going to be using it, right? It, exactly. It, it, because it. the package, the package is the patch. The package would be it, right? So yes. we're going to be using it. Now, give me the whole sentence. We will pick it, pick it up tomorrow. All right. Very good. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. We will pick it up tomorrow. That is the only possibility um, in the case of Just give me a second. So that's the only possibility in this case, okay? Um, we're going to be using the the will sorry the um, pick the verb the verb is pick and the particle is up and the only possibility in this case is to use um to use the object pronoun in the middle in this case the object pronoun is it right because we're talking about the package all right Okay. Okay, so that's an object pronoun. That's the only possibility. Um, that's the only possibility. Nothing else is possible. Okay. Um, so that's it. Okay, you cannot, you can, it's impossible for me to say, uh, we will pick up it tomorrow. Okay, that's impossible. Does that make okay. sense for everybody? 
Yes, I understand. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? No. No, no everything is okay. Is okay, all right, so basically that is the, um, the information that you need uh, so far for um, doing the the section number number one, right? Uh, so, so this is the first section pretty much. There's only one topic left for section um, number one, but pretty much I have covered everything here, okay? Okay. All right, so, um, all right, so that's it, that's it. Now, uh, remember that because um, we have uh, four weeks of class and we have five sections, that means that we are going to be doing one, well, basically, in, in weeks one and two, we're going to be doing sections one, two, and three. And in um, week, week uh, three and four, we're going to be doing, sec well, in week three, we're going to be doing um, section four, okay? And in week five, sorry, in week four, we're going to be doing section five. Okay, so that means that right now um, you have enough enough information so far to almost finish section one. There's only one topic that we're going to be covering tomorrow to be able to finish section one, and then this week we're going to be starting section two, um, some like uh, I think around. Um, Thursday. Okay. Any questions about that? No. No question, teacher. No question. No question, teacher. Okay, so it's all clear for everybody. There are no nothing you want to ask about uh, about the platform. Yes, no, it's clear. Problem, Sorry, Luis Fernando, could you repeat that? No, I don't have problem with the platform. Okay, good, good. Now, that's very, some, uh, I wanted to mention something very important. If you have any problems with the platform, if there are any questions that you have, um, like maybe you're writing down an answer and you don't understand it, you can always ask in the in the whatsapp group that's what it's for the whatsapp group is for for um getting as much um support as possible but remember there are a few things that i need you to remember first thing that if you want to get information like or if you want to get some help uh first of all make sure that you include the section okay so you say for example i'm having trouble in section 2.4 to give an example i i don't know if it's i don't even know if 2.4 is a is a section that um, needs to do writing but just imagine you have you have section 2.4 so right um so give me exactly the section and the exercise i'm having problems with section 2.4 exercise 5 to give an example Okay, and then that way I will be able to go fast and, and look at the information. Um, because if you just take a picture of it, um, then I'm like, I don't know. I have to go through all of the exercises trying to figure out where, what, what exercise you're referring to. Okay, so that's something very important. Please um, include the, um, what's it called? Please include the, the um the the the, se the the section and the exercise the other thing is class um i really love the fact that in the whatsapp groups um from um english corporativo i've always noticed that students help each other out and they say oh yes the answer is this but the problem with just giving somebody the answer is that you're not helping them to learn okay um, so instead of showing them the answer, um, try to explain the answer, okay? So to give an example, um, instead of saying, 
just showing the answer say oh well uh, you you forgot to add I don't know the verb you forgot to add the verb yeah. or um, or you 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 forgot to add the question mark okay etc 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 so try try to help your classmates not by telling them the answer but helping them to understand what the problem is does that make sense and teacher yes. sorry teacher yes, yes um, please have you created a whatsapp group for this class there is a whatsapp group for this class yes you the, please, the link you will find it me. in pardon me please add me no no uh Luis Fernando, no, i i'm i do not add the students each person um joins the group by themselves okay so what you have to do is go to the email address that Inglés Corporativo sent you okay. and you have to um, a link and you, you, you have to go to the link there is a link they all like the, the the email address has many 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 links and there's a link for the YouTube there is link for the for the conference meeting uh, there is a link for for the platform, I think, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, um, so you can click on the one that says that it's for the WhatsApp group. When you click on that, then it will say they will say, it will ask you if they can if you can open up the WhatsApp. You you press the WhatsApp, and then it says join the group. You can then from there join the group. So you yourself are the ones that are going to join. I do not add you. Does that make sense, Luis Fernando? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now the other thing is, um, like I said before, uh, try to help each other out by explaining the answer instead of just telling the answer. I hope, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it will help your, your classmates much more if you do that, okay? And finally, um, the other thing is, if you um oh if you want if you want to get some help i will you know my pleasure i will be it will be my pleasure to help you but just keep in mind that um i do have I, I i work during the day you know and sometimes i don't i'm not able to answer immediately i will try to answer as fast as i can but I can promise you that I will answer immediately after. Okay? So just please take that into account. Okay? But yes, I will be more than happy to answer. And the last thing I wanted you to I wanted to tell you is that be careful in the platform. Um, the platform is very sensitive to the answer. So if you don't write exactly how the answer is supposed to be, you will be wrong. So if there is an extra space. Okay, it will mark it wrong. If you were supposed to add a period and you didn't add the period, it will mark it wrong. If you were not supposed to put the period and you put the period or the question mark, it will put it wrong. Make sure that it has a capital letter if it needs to ha have a capital letter. Make sure the apostrophe is correct. Um, ojo con esto, I'm gonna say this in Spanish just because I want, I want everybody to understand 100%. La, tengan cuidado con el teclado. Algunos uh, alumnos ponen como el apóstrofe. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, piensan que están poniendo el apóstrofe, pero realmente es el signo de, de la tilde. La tilde, exacto. Entonces tengan cuidado con eso, porque después se están haciendo bolas y dicen ¿y por qué si mi respuesta está bien? Y yo puse exactamente lo mismo que el otro. And it's that. That's the problem. You, so be careful. The, if you want to know where the apostrophe is, it's at the top. Usually, as, it, it depends on your keyboard, right? But usually it's at the top. Um, in mine, for example, it, it's the one that has the, the question mark. So you just put a shift and question mark. Oh, no, wait a sec. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. My mistake. Forget it. 
um, erase what it said. Um, I believe, hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, yeah, it is that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, it's the one with the with the question mark, right? So, um, so please be careful with that. Um, just, you know, be very, very careful on your answers. No spaces, no extra spaces. Uh, put capitals where you're supposed to put them. Put periods where you're supposed to put them. Put a question mark where you're supposed to put them. And that will, that will eliminate maybe half of your questions right there. Okay? okay. Any questions? No. I don't have a question. Okay. No, I don't. All right. Anything else you wanna you wanna ask about or comment about before we leave? Teacher, I need to speak Spanish, please. Only. <laughs> okay. Eh, All right. Fíjese que yo soy nueva y de verdad que estoy confundida con la plataforma y con lo que debo de hacer de las tareas. De verdad me perdí la clase del 25 donde iban a explicar todo por un contratiempo que tuve. Y la verdad que me siento perdida ahorita sobre qué es lo que debo de estar trabajando. Ya entré, no sé si son unos videos y la primera actividad es donde dice que vamos a practicar una conversación entre los con los miembros de la familia. Es todo eso lo que uno debe de trabajar. Right, yes. Um, okay, let's do something, um, Judith. Uh, tomorrow I will show you um, in class the where exactly you have to go so that you can um, you can follow that in the platform. Okay, does that is that okay? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, all right, good. All right, um, anything else you want to ask me? Tell me, comment? Okay, all right, guys. Well, that will be all. Um, just before we leave, I wanted to tell you your homework. Your homework will be to write. You're going to write five sentences using right. phrasal verbs. One where you are um, you are putting the phrasal verb together and then the object, and the other one where you are separating them, just like I did in the, um, just like I did uh, with the, um, the 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 whiteboard that I put the two examples. Okay, so one was without separating and the other one separating. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Okay, sure. So, so five different phrasal verbs. Once one of them that's separating, the other one that is not. In total, there will be ten. Ten, uh, ten sentences. Okay. 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 I got right. it. So that that will be all, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.